All right, guys, welcome back to part two of this series with the uh, 325 CI. Last video, we uh, tried a few things to get this car running or running better than it was. We tried changing out the brake booster, tried changing out the spark plugs and the fuel pump. This thing still idles really poorly and it dies when you give it gas still. So in this episode, hopefully we can figure out what's wrong with it. And um, yeah, let's uh, start diagnosing it. In the last video, we didn't film that well, but we actually tried uh, changing up the spark plugs and changing around the uh, coil pass because we thought the reason why the car wasn't starting because the uh, sparks were bad. So today, we're gonna actually uh, take out each coil pack of the spark plug inside of it. And if we see physical mini sparks on every spark plug, we can rule out that it's not a spark problem. We can also rule out that it's not a uh, compression problem because last video, every cylinder had at least 125 PSI, which is the minimum or it's enough to get the car running. So today we're actually going to check spark and verify it's not spark for once and for all. And then actually take out this uh, fuel rail and the fuel injectors and see how gunked up and dirty they are. And that could be the issue to why this thing is not running well. So let's get started. So the annoying thing with this car is that I have to unplug the battery every single time we're done working on it that day because the battery compartment gets flooded with water. And that's because this area right here of the convertible top, I guess the water seeks in gets through one of these cracks and then goes through the car into this battery compartment and it doesn't it doesn't come out so we might have to drill a hole or just figure out where the car is leaking from so we have to unplug the battery move it to this side every time so the battery the new battery you bought for 200 bucks is not good damage so yeah all right battery is in the little pool of water so that's that let's start taking apart the uh coil packs and start experimenting if the coils are the issue with this car here is the benchmark for what this car is doing right now so this fuel thing doesn't work half the time which is kind of annoying but so that's what it, that's what we'll do it will it will stay at around 500 rpms and then if you give it any amount of gas it dies so we don't know what that is. We're assuming it's gonna to be too much air, too much fuel, or not enough fuel, or no spark. So, cause compression is when ruled out, which is good, cause a bad compression means your engine needs a lot of work. So we're gonna be testing for spark. So what we have to do is you have to put the threads on a ground. Go. Off, off, off. Very healthy spark. Let's try the other two. And uh, I don't think spark. I think spark's good. The uh, the first cylinder had a, has a healthy new coil pack, as you see, and a new spark plug, and it sparked really well. So, I mean, it's a good sign. Now I want to try the old coil pack, so yeah. All right, testing out the uh, second set of spark plugs and coil pack. So, uh, let me go. Okay, ready? Go. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. It works. The... Uh, the fuel got in my eye a little bit from this, but she works. The uh, spark plug and coil pack test, we've concluded that spark is not an issue with the new spark plugs and the good condition coil packs. Uh, the sparks are have really quality and healthy uh, little lightning bolts. So the only two things left is fuel or air. Uh, we right. took about the whole air intake when we got to the brake booster and we didn't see any cracking or holes in the air intake. So we have a very strong feeling it is just clogged up fuel injectors, which could be the entire issue with the car. So, you know, yeah. hopefully, fingers crossed, this is the issue because if not, I don't know what else it could be. Trip to Harbor Freight, we got the tools for the uh, DIY fuel injector cleaner. Also, so we can do that. We got this magnet because we dropped a couple bolts. So let's try to get this out. All right, guys, so here's my jerry rig setup for cleaning an injector. So I have a bunch of pipes that connect with a shrink wrap that connect to a carb cleaner. And I'm using the battery to get it going. So what we have to do is you have to press this down while tapping this on the other terminal. 
And uh, yeah, let me, just, let me see you guys down. Just look at it. So as you can see, this yellow stuff right here is the dirt and all the stuff that was in the uh, fuel injector. And you can see that this used to be brown, now it's clear, which means the fuel injector has been cleaned. But now it's time to backwash this one and the other two. They have not backwashed yet, which basically means you're just reversing this to this side. And yeah, these injectors are clean, so uh, let's go. Okay, it is the next day. And as you just saw, we just cleaned the fuel injectors, which we think is actually the uh, culprit for this whole car not running. And cleaning the fuel injectors yesterday affirmed this because three of them had problems squirting uh, the, the uh, car cleaner out for a little while before it eventually shot out the fuel car cleaner way better. So the, the cleaner ones are in that bag. So let's... Uh, Start prepping this to get everything back in. Let's go. All right, guys. So we have the new cleaned out fuel injectors in the car. We're currently tightening down the fuel rail. And after this, this thing should hopefully run well. The uh, fuel injectors were very dirty, as you saw in the last few clips. So, yeah, this could be it. This could be the winner. Let's hope it runs. Fuel injectors are in. It's all been rebuilt. This is it. I don't know what else it could be after this. So if this ain't it, let's put the battery in. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Battery well isn't too wet today, so that's good. Battery's in. Let's get this thing going. Here it is. Three, two, one. Ha. Huh. Hmm. Runs almost the worst. What is going on, guys? Instant death. Let's go again. Let's prime a little bit and give it some gas. Ready? All right, running better. But if you give it gas, it should just go. Oh, that was better. That revved up a little bit. That, yeah, it was a little better. So we might just need to get some fuel in the fuel line and it might work. Better. Okay. It was around 500 RPMs like before. But it dies. Could that be, bro? Mm. Let's check where the English go. Suicide, 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 suicide.